Welcome to the King Mo Show. This is a bonus edition. In general, on the weekend, we're talking about some kind of alcohol. During the middle of the week, we're talking about food. Bonus edition. So, a lot of people have been asking, hey, you know, if you're drinking this alcohol and you're eating all these sweets in the food, how do you stay so slim and good looking? The answer is, well, good looking came from the parents. But the slim is, I like to run. I uh, hated running when I was younger. At one point, on a whim, I signed up for a marathon and hated it and hated it. And then suddenly I realized I really like running. So I've been running for a long time. I've been running outside, treadmills, all kinds of things. But in general, I always want to run outside. Wintertime, outside, as long as it's not icy. So... In my 25 years of running outside, I've encountered lots of strange things. I've opossums, skunks, uh, raccoons, deer, dogs. I've encountered a lot of dogs. I mean, 25 years running probably three times a week outside, you're bound to encounter them. Uh, and whenever I have always encountered a dog that's not on a leash, it's just outside running around somewhere, they're all, I've never had any kind of problems. They all kind of like either totally ignore you and they'll stay on the other side of the road, the other side of the path, they just ignore you. Maybe they come over, maybe they, you know, you put your hand down, they sniff your hand and then they ignore you. A um, couple of them wanted to run with me for a while and I'm like, okay, a little worried about that. But in general, in general, no, absolutely never had a problem. As you guessed, until this last weekend, I was out for a run and I, it was a nice casual run, two miles out, two miles back. I'm at my turning point. I turned around, I start coming back and I, suddenly I hear these, there's barking. And from the other side of the street, two pit bulls come charging at me. So I adopt my normal stance. I just stop. Hold, have my hands down so that they can like sniff me or whatever. But I noticed that they were a little bit more aggressive than normal. Um, there was a tan one and a white one. The hair on the white one, the back of his neck was all raised up. The tan one came up, kind of sniffed at me, backed away a little bit. But the white one kept like lunging and then barking and growling. I just slowly walked back, slowly walked back away. And then, good fun. It bit me. Good news, though. As this was unfolding, traffic is going by. Somebody was honking their horn, startled the dog, didn't break my skin. So, very fortunate. Very, very fortunate. Things could have gone horrendous with respect to that. So, I consider it a very good thing that that happened yeah could things gone worse yes could they have gone better could someone have given me a ride at that point yeah but I got away with a bruise on my leg and a couple little dimple marks where the teeth were so all in all I consider it good now why am I talking about this someone had suggested hey they can't wait to see the review on them so here's my review of the dogs. The tan dog, which was the female, I'm going to give her a three. She was aggressive, she came up to me, she sniffed, she kind of backed away, so give her a three. The white dog, the male, I was gonna give a zero. It's a real, and this is on a scale of one to 10. I was gonna give her a zero, him a zero, because I really was not fond of getting bit. But he let go and he didn't puncture the skin. So I'm going to give him a one. As a group, I'll give him overall a four for an average of two. And that's my review of the crew. The crew is my name for the dogs now. And you'll now see a picture of those dogs. Thank you.